Hey, welcome to the shop. I just got this uh, Rikon portable dust collector, 1 HP supposedly. So, uh, let's perform an unbox to me. Let's see what. I bought this from Lee Valley Tools and as you can see they're very concerned about this showing up in one piece. Or somebody went way too happy with those things, but I prefer the better better care than not. So I'm not complaining. I'm being careful with this because I ordered an extra bag and I would assume that they open this up and put it right on top and I don't want to cut it. Hey there, it's another box. So sitting outside at minus 15, so I'm assuming it's very hard and brittle right now. So to the side. Yeah. Here's the original bag and this will be the extra one that I order. Casters. Oh, it includes a wall mount. This will be it. She is. Wow. 
So, bag. I ordered an extra bag because uh, their bag has a zipper. I use another one with my DeWalt planer, but it doesn't have a zipper at the bottom. It is a real pain in the butt to empty. So, this will be part of the support. I was wondering about this. Um, I seen these ones on Amazon, and they're more expensive. Uh, this was uh, three hundred and fifty dollars Canadian, Ali Bali. Uh, the ones I seen on Amazon, uh, I noticed two things. One, uh, the motor is black, and it doesn't have a heat sink with this like this mind you um i wasn't sure when i saw the picture only valley it showed this one but i wasn't sure whether i was going to get one with just a black motor to me this being a heat sink tells me that it's a bit better so i don't know if it's a different run and the other thing the ones on amazon were way more expensive like five six hundred dollars and uh, they did not include the uh, this wall mounting bracket, which it was a separate purchase, but there was no option as to where to buy it. So, anyways, this is just an unboxing, so I don't want to make a long video. Just gonna open this up, to, so you see what comes with it. Four casters. Some hardware. I don't know what they give you this guys. It's not like you're gonna if you mount this on the wall you're gonna put it directly on driver, but I understand. This is a rubber seal of some kind. I have no idea where it goes. More hardware. And the wall bracket. Anyways, it's, uh, the cord seems fairly long. <coughs> I'm trying to feel if the propeller is plastic or metal. metal um, supposedly this guys are fairly quiet the other thing uh, when makes a very similar one or a knockoff I'm not sure everything that makes seems to be a knockoff or something but what I noticed and what people complain about with that one uh, is that the uh, when has a metal mesh here and all this, all the bigger chips, unless it's just sawdust, it gets stuck in there and it gets clogged up. Um, I have a helical head on, on my jointer. This is gonna be used under my table saw here. It's gonna replace, it's gonna replace this guy and it's gonna run to the bottom of the table saw and to this side because my I'm gonna make a base for my jointer here so it's just gonna run those two tools now uh, my jointer is helical but it's not, uh, so it makes like very small chips so I don't think I'm gonna have a problem with that however if I used it 
with my DeWalt planer, which I haven't changed to Helico, and it makes longer uh, chips, I think this will still be a problem. For that matter, I've seen a video of, uh, of a dude complaining that he called it a fail, and I don't think it was a fail. I mean, uh, you know, like you can, you can always get a six inch one if, uh, but we have small shops and we tend to buy a small thing. So, you know, something has to give. But uh, anyways, that's it. And I will do an update, maybe install and uh, review and whether it's loud or whatever in the meantime uh, I'll catch up with you later ciao